By default, Microsoft is going to assign your project the standard calendar template. Now the standard calendar has a typical work week of Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, with a one hour lunch and no holidays. I strongly recommend that you do not use the standard calendar, and this is why. If you make any changes, like exception days, you know, days where you want to block out time for events like holidays or vacation, or you want to change some of the default working hours from, let's say, 8 to 5 to 9 to 5 on Thursdays, or even change the work week from Monday through Friday to Tuesday through Saturday, you're junking up the standard calendar template with custom settings, which most likely won't match the need of your next project. Because every new project you create will by default be assigned the standard calendar template that you just junked up. Instead, I recommend you make a copy of Project Standard Calendar Template and name it after the project you're currently working in or working on, like the one we're working on is the Software Training Manual. Then make all the changes that apply to that new calendar that you just created and assigned to your project. The cool thing about that is, is that now you have two future templates to work with. You have your Standard Calendar Template, which again we don't want to touch, we want to leave alone, and then your newly created Software Training Manual Template as we're discussing here. So if your next project, say we'll call it Project 2, closely resembles the working hours and the block times or the exception days of your new calendar, the Software Training Manual calendar, then all you have to do is make a copy of that Software Training Manual calendar and name it Project 2. And then you only have to make a few updates, if any, on that copied calendar. So in other words, you can make copies of copies of copies of any calendar that closely resemble or matches the project you want to work on. And again, by all means, leave the standard calendar template alone. Always make copies. Always make copies of the standard calendar or make copies of other calendars that you created in the past if it closely resembles and you have to make little changes of that new calendar that you're going to copy that template to. Now there's one place we can go to create our new calendar, you know, based upon the standard calendar template that project has assigned to us already. Then assign that calendar to our project instead and make any custom changes to that new calendar including setting the working times, exception days, and so on. In other words, this can all be found under the Tools menu. Click on Tools, go down and click on Change Working Time. First of all, up at the top you can see the standard project calendar template. When you click on the drop down arrow, you have two additional templates. First of all, let's look at the standard. When you select it, you can look down here in the Working Time view in the calendar where any day that you have selected that's in white, over in the legend it says it's a working day. For the working hours, come over here and it says 8 to noon with an hour lunch and then from 1 to 5, Monday through Friday. So if I select a Sunday, you can see in the legend it's not in working time and I don't have any times displayed here because we're not supposed to work that day. Now we'll go ahead and change that to night shift and then be sure to select a working day here. And you can see the hours and then of course we've got the 24 hours which is non-stop. The plant or factory is always going even though you won't have people working there of course 24-7. You may have eight-hour shifts coming and going. So let's go back to our standard project calendar because we want to create a copy of it and give it a new name. So it's selected here. Come over here and click on the create new calendar button. By default it gives us a generic name. Now like I said we can create a calendar one for each project or if you absolutely know for certain that your company will never change its working time or hours or vacation, then you can go ahead and create one calendar and name it after your company and assign that to all your projects because you're not changing for the client, they're going to change for you. But if you're going to be changing for the client, then again I recommend that you create a new calendar, one new calendar based upon the name of each project. But to keep it simple, I'll just say that our company is stringent, these are our working hours or working times, so I'm going to call it the uh, new base calendar for Dreamforce here for our company. Now I can make a copy of the standard calendar or click on the drop down arrow, make a copy of the two other templates, or once I save this, it'll actually be listed down below here as well. So for example, when I click OK, there's the Dreamforce calendar. Now because I created it, it hasn't been assigned to the project yet as the default base calendar. I have to go into another window to do that. Right here we're just creating it and or making changes to the working times which we'll cover uh, later on. Once I create this calendar, you can click on the drop down arrow. Now I have four calendars. And when I click Create New, I have four calendars here. So again, like I said, that once you create this calendar and you're saying, well, Dreamforce already marked it up with all these different time changes, different working hours, and so forth. If it closely resembles another project you're going to be working on, then make a copy of that one and make changes to that one or little change, or hopefully little to no change at all if it's really that close. Otherwise, go back to your standard, 
start all over again and create a new copy of the standard calendar which has nothing in it but you know the default working times of 8 to 5 Monday through Friday. I'm going to click cancel and in the next training video with our Dreamforce calendar selected I'm going to show you how to make exception days. These are exception days where we can actually customize a day and say we're not working that day it's an exception for a holiday or vacation. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.